Hi guys, I welcome you back to my channel. This is Brain Tech. In this video, you get to know the latest tech news in town. But before I unveil this tech news to you, I will urge you to subscribe to my channel if you are yet to. When you subscribe, you will stay updated with our future videos. That is, you will be getting updates each time we drop a new video. So let me take you to today's tech news. MTFE has just shut down. What do we mean by MTFE? MTFE simply means Metaverse Foreign Exchange. This MTFE group has existed for up to two years now globally. And this group has alleged or has, has claimed that they were registered in North America, which is Canada precisely. But upon research, Brain News and other media have discovered that these claims were false. So we, we have even posted uh, some of the investigation we carried out some weeks ago on our social media accounts, even on our blog, brainnewspaper.com. So many people ignored and they told us we should get away because it was a legit platform they use in making cool money but as we speak the platform has crashed withdrawal has been blocked but deposit are still open is this not a, a ponzi scheme so many persons are confused and they are still asking questions that is why brain tech has decided to create this video so what we are asking this day is as mtfe has been shut down can i still withdraw my phones but before i get you to that let me show you some facts about mtfe which is the metaverse foreign exchange group let me show you what you need to know about Some days ago, this user, Mo Blazing Dr. Crypto, shared on social media by writing this breaking MTFE is currently under maintenance. Team promised to resume tomorrow. Withdrawal is closed, but deposit is open. And after this message had come in, many people did not believe. Uh, in what was forthcoming so as this event was unfolding the metaverse foreign exchange group incorporated had to uh, uh, give out this press release so uh, it goes like this temporary suspension of withdrawals as part of our ongoing commitment to provide you with the best possible investment experience, we are currently undertaking a major system upgrade to improve our infrastructure, our infrastructure and enhance the overall performance of our platform. I take it again. As part of our ongoing commitment to providing you with the best possible investment experience. We are currently undertaking a major system upgrade to improve our infrastructure and enhance the overall performance of our platform. This upgrade will significant this upgrade will significantly improve the efficiency, security, stability of our systems. Ultimately, 
benefiting all our valued investors. To ensure a smooth and uninterrupted upgrade process, we kindly request that you avoid making any withdrawal requests until August 22nd, 2023. This temporary suspension of withdrawals is necessary to facilitate the AV technological changes and safeguard the integrity of our systems. We assure you that your funds will remain safe and secure during this process. We understand that timely access to our investment is of utmost importance, and we apologize for any inconvenience caused by this temporary suspension. However, we have we firmly believe that these system improvements will provide enhanced long-term value and stability for all our investors. We would like to express our deep appreciation for your ongoing patience and understanding during this time. We firmly believe that this upgrade will ultimately result in a more efficient platform, improved investor experience, and increased opportunities for growth. They sign it without a name. This was done on Wednesday, the 16th August, 2023, and it ended with Metaverse Foreign Exchange Group Incorporated. So if you can take your mind back to the days of MMM, you can uh, discover that MMM used this same trick, you know, to say goodbye to their, uh, 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 this thing, their innocent uh victims because i i can't call that a uh, client those are victims thousands of victims so after doing that we discovered that this amount has run to their pockets amounting to one billion three hundred and one billion thirty four million seven hundred and Seventy. I call again. I start again. Sorry. One billion. Thirty-four million. Seventy-six thousand three hundred and three hundred and twelve point forty-two billion dollars. As run to the pockets of the Metaverse Foreign Exchange Group, otherwise otherwise known as the MTFE Group. So this amount has run to their pockets. And the last time these payments were made was on the August 10, 2023. So you can see the amount of money, funds that has uh, been stolen from people. Although these people never listen to any advice. Brand News has done this. Other media, other, other platforms have posted and warned them against this practice of investing in the MTFE group, but nobody listened. But uh, all thanks to nature, this thing has happened. So I believe next time when they see a platform that gives a, a high returns for a little investment you, you make, they will be able to know that Ponzi scheme is still visible in today's world. So let me take you to the Google Play Store and uh, the platform of, of this MTFE group uh, is one of their main app that was used in the transactions of these illegal or fraudulent activities. I want to take you to uh, the comments section of that app on the place so, so you can see what people are dropping, what people are saying in the last few hours after uh, the platform has been pronounced crash. Let's go to Google Play Store. On Google Play Store, which is about to open. When it opens, we are to search for MTFE. We are waiting for Google Play Store to come up. The 
the Google Play Store has come up. So all we have to do is to search for MTFE. We are sorry for the break. It could be uh, it is caused by the Android OS. Maybe there are some updates that is running in the background. So we apologize for that. So uh, the MTFE app has come up on the Google Play Store. So let's go to the comment session or the rating sessions of this app to see what people are saying about the app so that it won't be that we are saying what is not in the books. So this is one of a comment that was made on the 22nd that was made on the 22nd of that was made on the 2nd of April. So this is the comments. This person is saying that uh, yesterday, yesterday there was a huge loss and that too happened to someone and not to anyone. I agree that loss and profit are part of business. But just as MTFE gives 3% profit after calculating it, similarly, loss should also be given within a limit. When the robot cuts the profit after getting 3% profit, then the robot should also cut the order in, in case of loss. Even if there is a loss of 10 to 20%, it is not a problem, but a loss of 40% is huge. Whatever the matter achieved in one. So the next person, this first person that said it is Aja Shama. Then the next person that uh, wrote a comment was Olo Fema Femi. So this is what Olo Fema Femi said. The worst experience ever is this app. It's technically a scam app. They will steal your money and deny it. My money was withdrawn as a result of contacting them to rectify my login issue. The issue was rectified, but the asset was stolen by the management. This app is not reliable. So the third person, AKM Tavi Ahmad, said, I had, I had an awful experience with the MTFE crypto trading app. I encounter a critical issue with changing my name to match my national ID card, and the customer key was was utterly unhelpful. The seem disintegrated. They seem disinterested in resolving the problem, leaving me frustrated and disappointed. The customer support provided by MFTE is nothing short of a scam. They promise assistance, but when you reach out for help, they conveniently disappear, leaving you hanging with unresolved issues. So, as you can see, there are so many irregularities on this uh, comment section, and as such, many would have learned to, you know, get a little insight before they attach themselves in what seems to be scam and what will give them uh sadness what, what will give them sorrows at the end of the day as you can see on the N mtfe uh, app on the google play store you can see that this app has gathered up to twenty three thousand reviews uh and has gotten up to 1 million plus downloads so that means if we should estimate the total number of people that has fallen as that has fallen for this their scam should be up to 2 million people worldwide so that means this figure that was given is true 1 billion dollars plus that has been stolen from from about 2 million users worldwide so uh, other things you need to know concerning this app
is that it has lasted for about two years. And during that two years, they have been able to gather about one billion plus in funds from unsuspecting uh, customers, unsuspecting victims. This is the figure this uh, group has been able to gather. If I should take you back to the Google Play Store, you see that this app has no parent's name. For example, if you should check other apps, you see that they have a parent's name, but this one have no parent's name. Let me show you what I mean. Majority of these crypto apps on the store, they are all fake. Like this one, MTFE. Then the parent's name is F. T F E. They're supposed to have a parent name, just like the Facebook and Meta. Meta is the parent name of Facebook. So this M T F is supposed to have a parent name, since they claim that the app or the platform was registered far away Canada. But of recently, Canada, the Canadian government has denied that. The Canadian government has denied that the MTFE group does not belong to them, that they do not even know anything about them. That means automatically it was not registered in Canada as claimed by the MTFE group. So the question people are asking currently online is, can I still withdraw my phones? Yes, that is what I told you that I will explain before I end this video. I'm so sorry to tell you that you won't be able to withdraw your phones for now because uh, just like the previous Sponzi scheme before it crashed or before it went offline or before it went down, they gave this same clumsy excuse. Let me take you to the press release that was done by the MTFE group. If you should take this press release, I'll take you to where the, the second paragraph where they said withdrawal will re resume on the 22nd of August 2023. But we are in August 2020. We are in August the 22nd. But the withdrawal uh, option or the withdrawal button on the platform has not been activated to show you that it was a scam. So I take it to ensure a smooth and uninterrupted upgrade process. We kindly request that you avoid making any withdrawal requests until August 22nd, 2023. This temporary suspension of withdrawals is necessary to facilitate the heavy technological changes and safeguard the integrity of our systems. We ensure you that your phones will remain safe and secure during this process. So automatically, they have nothing to offer other than to steal from the unsuspecting clients, which they claim they are, but we term it unsuspecting users, unsuspecting people around the world that are about 2 million people. Because the statistics that was shown on the Google Play Store shows that the app has received more than 1 million downloads. So that means about 2 million or even more than 2 million unsuspecting people were scammed by the MTFE group around the world. So we will uh, use this time to tell you each time you see a platform like this that gives a high return for the little funds you invest, please do well to do a proper investigation before you can invest your money. Even if it's $1, $1 means a lot to so many people because around the world, Millions of people are looking for $1 a day but can't see one. So just like MMM, the MTFE platform has gone into exile. 
so sorry if you have lost your phones in this platform next time please do well to do a proper investigation before you invest your money so if you should check how other ponzi schemes crash this is not an exception so i thank you for staying put with us while this platform uh, while the review of this platform lasted or while this tech news lasted we have other tech news on this channel do well to browse on it to unveil the tech news we have for you today check other videos on this platform if you don't see any you can search the channel and i'm so glad and we will be glad to know that you find the video you are looking for drop a comment if you have any question about the mtfe group we'll be here to reply and give you all the answers you will need like this video share it to your friends subscribe to our channel if you are yet to stay put for our next video we appreciate your time